A few days ago, GPT-4 was launched by OpenAI and the amount of things it can do is just mind-blowing. So this is the launch website of GPT-4 under OpenAI. And if you scroll down here, you can see the ma major changes between GPT-4 and GPT-3. So it says it's more creative. Now it takes visual input and as you can see in here, it was given an image with some ingredients and it was asked what can I make with this ingredient and it said this there are many options it basically was able to read what was in the image and provide an output and it can also accept longer text so these are the main things that was released with GPT-4 so what I'm going to be doing is to create a basic application with GPT-4 so the application that we're going to be creating is a snake game so I'm going to tell GPT-4 to create a snake game and I'll see how fast it can create it and how good the game is going to be. So right here I have ChatGPT and if you have ChatGPT Plus, which I have, um, you can easily use GPT-4 here. So what you just need to do is to switch on this model GPT-4 and in here I'm just going to tell it to create a full snake game with Pygame quickly. I guess that's the prompt I'm going to use and let's see what it does. I'm just going to pause. And I'm going to come back when it has been created. So this is the response it created. And I'm not even going to bother to read whatever I did. I'm just going to copy the code. And I'm going to come into Visual Studio Code here. I'm going to paste that code that it created. And I'm going to save the file. So this is just a game.py file that I created. So I'm just going to run this file. So as you can see, it created this game. And let me try to play it. As you can see, it keeps working and... Um, it's a playable game and I lost there. So that is working and we we're able to create this basic game using GPT-4 in basically less than 10 seconds. We just gave it the prompt, it gave us the code and we ran the code that it gave us. So this is the end of this video. As you can see, we tested that and it worked successfully. Of course, if you want to code more into this, you can do whatever you want to do. You can, you know, add more images, you can add uh, better graphics and whatever you want to do. But the main fact or the main point of this video is that it was able to build or write up this code in a quick period of time. So you could access this, as I said, if you have ChatGPT Plus. And if you don't have it, you could also sign up for the wait list of GPT-4. I'm sure if you come here, you could click on join API wait list. So you could sign up for the API wait, wait list. So having already said, that's all for this video. And thank you for watching.